Well, the Church of Scientology is tonight celebrating news it will not be the subject of a Senate inquiry. Today, government and opposition senators join forces to save the controversial church from facing its victims, who've been left confused and outraged. And Brian Seymour speaks to one of them. My daughter Lauren would have turned 11, turned 10, I should say. No, she would have been 11. Uh, it's been 10 years since we lost her. And my daughter Kirsty, she'd be about eight. What's happened here today is that Kevin Rudd and Tony Abbott have walked away from the victims of Scientology with very serious allegations, allegations of forced abortions, child labour abuses, families being split apart, people losing their life savings, and effectively, they have said, we're not interested in this, we're going to turn a blind eye to this. Paul Schofield was one of those victims who first spoke out on this program three months ago. Mr Rudd, Mr Abbott, let's investigate it. You know, let's actually do something and find out the truth. Don't take my word for it, don't take Scientology's word for it. Let's get to the bottom of it. Both of Paul's little girls died in separate tragic accidents. He claims the Church of Scientology then convinced him to lie to the police and the coroner to avoid scrutiny, a claim Scientology flatly denies. You can't run all these things through the criminal system. You can back it up for 20 years. Every little individual allegation. It needs a big, broad, fair and just investigation in the Senate. Today, the Labor government and the Liberal National Opposition both came out in support of Scientology. Green Senator Christine Milne, whose party supports an inquiry, was furious. But they don't want to be investigated. They don't want to have their tax status questioned. And so they're trying to shut down the idea that the Australian Parliament should look into what is a cult. South Australian Liberal Senator Cory Bernardi revealed the reason the inquiry was blocked. Really in Senator Milne's eyes, and she's made that very, very clear, it is really about going after a religious organisation. I don't think that's healthy. This is not about what people can or cannot believe in. This is about how people behave. And that is the key issue. And for anyone to suggest otherwise is completely misrepresenting and misstating what this inquiry is meant to be about. No group should be allowed to do anything it likes, even a religion, he says, adding that Scientology thrives here because they don't have to pay tax. We all pay it for them. We need to look at that. We need to look at that and see whether the very reasonable tests that apply in the UK should apply to this organisation here. The United Kingdom has introduced a successful public benefit test that ensures that if you don't want to pay any tax, you actually have to do some good, more good than harm. It's not over yet. I'll keep bringing this back on week after week that the Senate sits until the major parties get it right. The victims of the cult say they're glad to hear that, many today letting us know they're determined to stop other children and families suffering in the name of Scientology. Too many good people have come forward making serious allegations, too many people who've been damaged, whose lives in some cases have been destroyed, have come forward and they deserve an inquiry. If politicians aren't here for something like this, what are we here for? What are you going to do about it? Sweep it under the carpet. This is an issue that will not go away. What I say to Paul Schofield and every other victim of Scientology that's come forward is that it's not over. I have a lot of friends who aren't willing to speak publicly. They will speak to a Senate inquiry. That's Brian Seymour reporting. And the Australian of the Year, Professor Patrick McGorry, has condemned today's decision, calling on the politicians to reconsider.